He continues to be one of the biggest economic drivers in our area. Because of that, the commissioners who lead the port have one of the most consequential jobs in the region. Today, Nueces County commissioners were given the chance to make changes to that group. As 3 News anchor Mike Glaspia shows us, they added two new faces to the mix. Mike? Yeah, seven people actually sit on the Port of Corpus Christi Commission. Now, one of those is appointed by San Patricio County Commissioners. Three are appointed by the Corpus Christi City Council and three are put in place by Nueces County Commissioners. They're the ones who were given an opportunity today that rarely comes along. In an unusual happening today, Nueces County Commissioners have the chance to consider two appointments to the Port Commission. This is going to be tough because th there are so many people who have applied and showed that they deserve to be in this position. It's the first time county commissioners have faced such a decision um, since their appointment of Commissioner Diane Gonzalez now. one year ago. I... The Port Commission vacancies came because of the expiring three-year term of Dr. Brian Gully, who was looking to be reappointed, and because longtime Port Chair Charlie Zahn will be vacating his seat after serving the maximum allowed four terms. With those two spots up for grabs, 12 people put in applications by the November 15th deadline for the two unpaid positions. Today we're going to make two people happy and 10 people unhappy and all the people that are related to those 10 and that that stinks and it's terrible because we have such a high quality of, of applications. In the end, commissioners chose to go with two new appointees. Michael Pedrotti, the founder and CEO of several oil, gas, and petroleum companies, and Anthony Lamantia, the co-owner and chief operating officer of LNF Distributors. The next thing to keep an eye on will come when port commissioners meet in January. That's when we expect that they will be selecting a new chair from among themselves. Mike Gillespie, 3 News. All right, thank you, Mike, for that. Also coming